Rick Knowlton loves to show his colors on our nation's birthday, from his stars and striped socks to his mohawk with red, white, and blue spikes. This year's Bath Independence Day parade was even more special. He got to see his son Todd march with his fellow football teammates from Worse High School. My son's in one of the floats, and of course he does not want to see me today. Knowlton joined hundreds of people lining the streets of downtown Bath. Some kept cool under umbrellas, others waving old glory as bands, Boy Scouts, and Lady Liberty marched and cruised by. Jason Williams has been coming to the parade as long as he can remember. Patriotism, all the people, celebration, the heat, I guess. Residents also weighed in about the president's planned 4th of July celebration in our nation's capital. Tanks, military jet flyovers, along with the parade, concert, and fireworks is sparking criticism. Yeah, and too much about him and not about the country. I feel it's not about the people. I think it's about putting on a big show, you know, a big spectacle, and it's not really what it's about. That's going to happen with every president, every term, so, you know, not a big deal. No, no, no not really. <laughs> Senator Angus King says it will be a big deal if the event turns into a re-election rally for the president. He says tickets for the best seats along the parade route are being given to Republican donors. This is the people's celebration. The Constitution, the first line, says we the people. It doesn't say we the insiders. Senator King says the National Park Service is diverting nearly $2.5 million in entrance and park fees to cover the event. The Pentagon is also picking up some of the tab. This a line between celebrating the 4th and bringing the country together and turning it into a political rally in anticipation of the presidential election. If it turns into the latter, I have some real problems because they're using taxpayer money. King expects Congress to demand a cost breakdown from the event, which is expected to draw tens of thousands of people to the National Mall Thursday evening. In Bath, Vivian Lee, News Center, Maine.